Hey racers, John Racer 3 here today, back for another Hot Wheels tournament. It's been a while since I've actually filmed one of these, but it seems like not long for you guys, because I have most of my videos scheduled, but you guys probably already know that. But we have eight supercars, as you can tell from the title, about to take on the fat track, so we're gonna unbox them, review them, see which one wins the looks, and let's see which one wins the speed. So let's take a look at our eight cars. Our first car comes from Matchbox. We have a Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren. The card art on these cars are absolutely amazing. Matchbox, you absolutely smashed it. Very good job. And let's just take a look at this beauty. This is my favorite Matchbox model. I feel like has come out from Matchbox, the SLR McLaren. Not as much this color with the model in general it looks absolutely amazing as you can see we got some professional lighting now for the reviewing of the cars which is always good to see so very very nice next up we have some hot wheels cars our next car is the new porsche panamera with the police deco on it they have not released a panamera in a while other than in five packs i'm quite excited to see another panamera come out because it is still a very, very cool car. Let's take a look at that. The police scheme looks very, very good on that. Of course, it's a Porsche. It fits it just perfectly. Next up, we have the 2015 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT from the Target Red Editions in white with red, red, red ribs. Whoa, it's actually not five times fast. Looks, well, I think this might be the best color for the AMG to come out in in all time. This white looks absolutely amazing on this car. I am a fan of white supercars, obviously, so this thing has a special place in my heart because it looks absolutely amazing. Next up we have, again, another white supercar one. All of you guys love the McLaren 720S in white, looking amazing. It's the cover car. It's the reason you clicked on this video. Don't lie to yourself. This thing looks absolutely amazing. I don't know what I like more. Do I like the orange one or the white one? It's a really, really hard decision. Let's take a look at that baby there. Look at absolutely amazing. Looking very sharp in the white. Very cool. Now we have another recolored one of the best models of the year. We have the Porsche 918 Spider in red. I know. All the other Hot Wheels YouTubers you watch probably have gotten these cars before me, but I think these cars are worth grabbing and racing and reviewing for you guys anyway. So, there you go, have it, the red 918 Spider. It looks very good out of the package, I must say. It came out in multi-packs a long, long before it was released in a single pack, but now we got the single pack version, and oh my gosh, are those details amazing. Next up, we have a Porsche 917 LH. We have an old GT racing Porsche here in white with a white golf livery, which is not a livery you see on a lot of golf cars with the white, but it's an awesome wee color for this car. I liked the car when it first came out. It looked really, really good, and I quite, quite like this old Porsche. Very, very cool. Now for our last two cars, we have cars from a set that came out in Walmart recently. We have the Fast and Furious pack, and we only have two cars competing in it. We have the Nissan GTR from Fast Five. Not one of the best Fast and Furious movies, I'd say, but it's, hey, it's gave us a GTR to review in a video, right? Take a look at this. I think the rims look really, really good on this GTR. I've not raced a GTR in a tournament in a long time, so it'll be interesting to see how this car does on the track, and I'm very, very excited. And now, for our final car, we have the most blatant colored card, col colored car of the actual tournament we have the last Fast and Furious from the Fate of the Furious we have a Lamborghini Murcielago driven by Roman the very ending part of Fate of the Furious I think it was absolutely amazing I did a challenge on Forza where I had to build this thing and it looks absolutely amazing as a Hot Wheel of course it does Hot Wheels does really good with their Lamborghinis I'd say and the details on this car look absolutely amazing the black rims fit this car very very well and there you have it guys, we have our 8 supercars about to take on the Fat Track. Which one will be our victor? Let's see the matchups. Here are the matchups for this race. We have some amazing looking cars here. I cannot wait to see these cars go down the track. So on the Fat Track, it'll be the first one to 2 wins. 
for each of these races and then the finale will be the first one in three. So best of three for the first round and then best of five for the finale. Alright, let's start racing. First matchup, McLaren versus Nissan. Here we go, round one of McLaren versus Nissan. Three, two, one. Look at that, it's gonna be the McLaren taking the win, shutting out the Nissan. Now for this next race, I decided to prop up the track a little bit so we get a little bit more speed from these cars when they go down the track. Let's see Kayla McLaren get the second win. We're about to find out in three, two, one. Look at that, the Nissan blocks him and it's gonna be the Nissan getting his win. This race decides it all. Three, two, one. It's gonna be close, but it is going to be the McLaren moving on. Next up is the Porsche 918 versus the, po the other Porsche. Porsche versus Porsche. Three, two, one. Look at that 918's absolutely gonna dominate the old Golf Porsche, taking the first win. Here we go, race two. The Golf Porsche does not fit in the middle lane, so he'll have to stay in this one. Three, two, one. Look at that, the red Porsche gets loose on the front stretch, but he still beats out the Golf Porsche and takes the win. Here's our next matchup, we have the AMG versus the Murcielago. Three, two, one. Look at that, Orange versus Lago go. Roman must be driving that thing like crazy. If you guys didn't get that last reference, it is from Fast and Furious, from when Roman, the driver of this car, was driving through the snow. Check out the movie, pretty good. Anyway, the orange Murcielago, almost called it Roman, has one win and the Murcielago has, or not Murcielago, the AMG has none. One more for the Murcielago and it's over. Three, two, one. Look at that, it is going to be the Murcielago taking the win. Our final matchup is the Panamera versus the SLR McLaren. Three, two, one. It's a close battle between the two, but it's going to be the Matchbox SLR McLaren. Take it away. One more for the Matchbox, and it'll take it. Three, two, one. It does not look like it is going to be the Matchbox, though. It is going to be the Hot Wheels Porsche Panamera. Taking the win. Next race decides it. This race will decide it all. Three, two, one. And it's going to be... The Porsche sneaking by the Mercedes at the last second, taking this race. Our four cars moving on to the semifinals. We have the McLaren 720S, Porsche 918 Spider, Lamborghini Racer Logo, and the Porsche Panamera. This is going to be a good race. First one to two wins, we'll be moving on to the finals. Classic rivalry on this channel. We have the Porsche versus the McLaren. Let's see who takes it in three, two, one. Look at that, the Porsche is going to lose it down the front stretch and it's going to be McLaren 720S. One more for the McLaren and it's over. Three, two, one. Look at that, the McLaren is going to spin out. It's going to be the Porsche taking this one. The winner of the next race will be your victor. Who's going to take it? Three, two, one. And it's going to be the Porsche 918 Spider beating out the 720S. We'll go off against the 918 in the finals. Will it be the Mercer Lago or the Panamera? 3, 2, 1. Look at that, the Mercer Lago and the Panamera neck and neck, but it's going to be the Panamera coming out of the corner. Much better than Mercer Lago I'm taking the first win. Panamera is up 1. 3, 2, 1. Oh, look at that, the Mercer Lago is going to spin out, but he's still going to get the win. So it's going to go down to the final race. Sadly, the Mercy Lago does not fit in the inside lane, so he's going to have to go down the middle with the Panamera on the outside. This one decides it. Three, two, one. Look at that! The Panamera is going to shut out the Mercy Lago, taking the win and moving on to the final to go up against his Porsche brother. It all comes down to these two cars. Best of five, first one to three. Leave the Porsche Panamera versus Porsche 918 Spider. Both of these cars look very mean and very fast about to take on the track. Who's gonna take it? We're gonna mix up the lanes here for the final race with the Panamera on the very inside, and the 918 on the very outside. Three, two, one. Look at that 918 go, absolutely flying down the track. Taking the first win. Race number two in three, two, one. 
Oh no, it looks like the red Porsche hit a little lift on the track, causing him to spin out, but he's still going to be in front of the Panama, stopping him in his tracks and getting his second win. Alright, here we go. This could be the final race if the 918 takes it all. Three, two, one. That's all for the 918, but he's flying down that front stretch, annihilating the Panamera and becoming today's champion. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this Super Cup tournament, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Make sure you guys get your merch. If you did, I'll like your comment. Who knows? I don't know where I was going with that, but make sure to get your merch. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to all the channels. Links in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't think I've plugged that much in a video before. Wow. So take it easy. Peace. Paradigm.